All right. <coughs> Welcome to another one of our used equipment hauls. Some of this stuff is from an estate. Uh, others are from independent clients who have upgraded. So uh, let's start with this over here. This is a JL, Aud <laughs> JL Audio F212 subwoofer. It's their top of the range in the F series until you get to the Gotham. It's a huge, very, very heavy subwoofer. <coughs> and it's in good condition overall. Built-in amplifier, oh, I should have gotten the specs on it, but I'll get the information over to uh, Allison and she can overlay the text. So it's got a built-in amplifier with two 12-inch woofers. These woofers are all custom made and custom designed by JL Audio for the best performance. Now, JL Audio makes literally some of the finest subwoofers that you can buy. They're good for not only home theater, but also audio as well. Included also is their uh, custom setup for room correction, specifically for the subwoofer. It doesn't come with a microphone, so you'd have to buy that separately. Um, but when you connect the microphone to the subwoofer and you go through the calibration, which is automatic, it will measure the bass issues in your room and calibrate for the smoothest overall response. So this subwoofer is $4,500. Now, we don't have the box or the manual or the microphone, as I said. The microphone is something that you can buy separately. So we cannot ship it unless you want to pay for a custom box or crate, uh, and they would have to go on a, a skid because it's so heavy. Uh, overall physical condition, I would say fair. There are some scuff marks. I don't think any of them have gotten through the paint finish, but you can certainly see some of the scuff marks. You may be able to buff it out, but we haven't tried. Okay, so that's the sub. Over here, we have a pair of Wilson Audio Sasha um, version 1. So this is not the Sasha DAW, it's a version 1. We sold them originally to the client, and they're overall in good to very good condition. Drivers are in excellent condition. Everything tests and works properly. We have the crates, the accessories, and I believe the manual as well. Wonderful sounding speaker, literally wonderful sounding speaker. The top is separate from the woofers, so they can be time aligned. There's a spike in the back that you can, that you can put in for time alignment. And the speakers, um, they originally were 26,900 US or 37,125 Canadian. We're selling them for 11,500 US or 15,000 Canadian. This one we can ship, but you'll read. Uh, if it's going out of the country, uh, you'll be responsible for all shipping costs and any import duties and so on. Oh, sorry. Um, this is a pair of Macintosh MC3500 Mark II. This is quite rare. It's effectively their top of the line tube amplifier. The original version was the one that was used at Woodstock and it made Macintosh famous because it's so, so good, so well made, so powerful, so rugged. Uh, as a matter of fact, on the back of the amplifier, the um, metal chassis is rounded so you can actually roll it on the back of it to enable you to help, uh, carry the amplifier easier. Um, the amplifier is rated at 350 watts into 8 ohms, 4 ohms, and 2 ohms. Very rugged, very beautiful, incredibly good sound. Although it's a tube amplifier, it, 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 it has some of the tube flavor, but it's so, cl so clear and so transparent. Um, You'll notice that on the amplifier, there on, uh, on the front meter, there's two sections. At the bottom, it says warm up, and at the top is the actual power itself. I've got the other, uh, the other one on the other side, so let me just show you how that works. So once you've connected it, you turn it on, and you'll see that the meter is slowly climbing. And during this time, it's going through its startup process, the tubes are being checked to make sure there's no issues, and you've got a little amber LED over there that shows you uh, that it's still under the warm-up phase. And over here, you can see it's going through its warm-up process, 60%, 80, and when it hits 100, the meter will go back to zero and tell you it's ready for play. Now, while it's doing that, this tube amplifier, like um, most of the new Macintosh amplifiers, have a number of protection circuits built in. Uh, one of them, very importantly, is a circuit that monitors the grid on the tube so that if the tube is not working properly, the output tubes, it won't allow the amplifier to turn on. So that's a very important function of the circuit. All right, uh, oh, the pricing. Um, 
The list price for a pair is 30,000 US or 40,800 40, Canadian. We're selling them for 18,500 US or 25,000 Canadian. They come with boxes and manuals and they've hardly been used. Again, the estate the gentleman had multiple systems and uh, this was just one of them and uh, it was in a, a room where he couldn't have easy access into. So the amplifier probably has not even been broken in. All right, let's go with the turntable. This is the MT5, it's the second from the top of the line. It is gorgeous. If you like the Macintosh look, this is gorgeous. Co-developed with Clear Audio, which is a German company. Um, turntable comes with tone arm and cartridge. The cartridge is the Sumiko Blue Point. Again, not used very much at all from the estate. In great condition, comes with boxes. I believe there's manual as well. Um, great buy. Turntable is uh, 7,500 US or 10,200 Canadian list. We're selling it for 4,850 Canadian uh, US or 6,500 Canadian. Um, C53 uh, solid state preamplifier. Um, this is the second from the top of the line, still current. It has an 8 band EQ, lots of outputs, lots of inputs, uh, the DA2 DAC built in, remote control box, manual, superb sounding preamplifier. Uh, you can connect almost any digital source to it and um, lots and lots of uh, analog and digital inputs. As well, it has two phono stages, one for MM and one for MC. The list price is 8,500 US or 11,560 Canadian. We're selling it for 5,250 US or 7,000 Canadian. All right, C22, uh, Mark V. So the look is uh, um, paying homage to early Macintosh preamplifiers. The preamp section is similar to this, except this one doesn't have the DAC built in and it has less inputs and outputs, I believe, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. It's got the phono stage built in. It has these toggle switches instead of these round, uh, well, in this case, its input is rotary. These are actual switches over here in the front. Uh, and then, of course, your input switches over here. So it looks quite different, but sonically, it's somewhat similar. It also uses tubes. Um, some people actually prefer the sound of this because it's, it's, it's totally analog, and it does have a slightly warmer tube sound. Um, we're selling this one, again, very lightly used from the estate. Uh, list price was 65 US or 8850 Canadian. We're selling it for 4150 US or 5500 Canadian. This is um, also another uh, Macintosh. This is a Senate channel. It's called the XCS200. 600 watts of power handling. This thing is a beast. It weighs a lot, very well made. Let me get the grill off. These are custom Macintosh drivers. Two eight inch woofers, as I said, can handle a ton of power. Physical condition, I'd say good. There are some marks um, on the front here. There's no box, uh, sorry, there is a box. There's no mounting bracket, although I believe you can still buy the mounting bracket from uh, Macintosh. And the original list price was, oh, specifications. It's rated from, uh, it's rated from 80 hertz to 45 kilohertz. Original list price was $6,000. We're selling it for $1,500. Again, if we're uh, shipping it to the US, for example, you'll be responsible for brokerage and shipping. All right, so that's this. Then we've got a Hegel H390 integrated amplifier. This is the second from the top of the line. Um, very highly regarded. Some people actually prefer the sound of this H390 to the previous top of the line, the 590. But regardless, it's superb. Superb uh, DAC built in, uh, it's rune ready, it's uh, absolutely wonderful. We love it very, very much. As a matter of fact, um, Lewis just sold one together with a pair of MagnaPads. Tremendous damping factor, lots of power, uh, comes with the remote control and manual, and I believe the box as well. We're selling this for, well, the list price was 6,000 US or 78.99 Canadian. We're selling it for 37.50 US or 5,000 Canadian. And then last but not least, this is a PS Audio Direct Stream DAC Junior. So this is the one below the uh, normal Direct Stream DAC. Comes with the remote control. Very nice sound. It's something that uh, people always surprise when they hear how good it is. 
um, we're selling this. This works perfectly. Uh, the gentleman had multiple of these PS audios. We're selling, um, we're selling this for uh, 2,000 Canadian or 1495 US. Compare it to any of the DACs today, uh, anywhere near its price, even used, and you'd be shocked. This is really, really good. It's got the um, stereotypical PS audios, nice open sound. It's, it, it converts all uh, digital input signals to uh, S, uh, DSD, so it has that beautiful SACD sound, very musical. Anyway, that's all we've got at the moment. As usual, if you have any questions, please email me, info at audioexcellence.ca, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.